What about if I am on my phone? We started Eat Australia to find out what's on Australia's menu. We've been to farms, we've been to markets, we've been to restaurants, but one thing we haven't done yet is knock on an Aussie's door and see what they're actually cooking for dinner. We can't deny a massive part of what people are cooking at home is coming from meal kits. I've reached out to HelloFresh. They deliver hundreds of thousands of meals to Aussies around the country per week. So they've hooked me up with one of their customers and for once on this show, I'm gonna get a meal cooked for me. Hey, where is this joint? Like, we're at the end of the street. 28. Fingers crossed. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm Susan, nice Susan, to meet you. Susan, nice to meet you too. Come on in. Thanks for having me. No worries. This is Tracy. Hello, this Tracy. Is nice Very nice to meet you. you. Tracy's going to join us for dinner today. Beauty. Yep. What are we so having? We're we'll here. We are having lemon chicken. Lemon chicken and chorizo crumb with asparagus and roasted peppers. That sounds delicious. Let's smash that. All right. I'll Have let you... you do the honours if you want. Well, so okay. I don't. I'm just going to be. Brutally honest, I don't know much about this, so I'm assuming you get all your fresh gear in you this do. bag. Yep. And this is like for how many people? Oh, at least mine is for four or five. I've actually got five in my family, yeah. um, but you know I order for four because the kids are younger, um, so they eat smaller portions. Yeah. Should we get cracking? Yeah. Okay, so I am purely manual labour, so <laughs> use me wherever you want. Well, I reckon I get you a chopping board first. What's the first step we have to do? Roast the veggies. Well, I'm going to give you the onions. I can do that. That's pretty much the worst job in the kitchen, so you started out well. So, Tracy, I think I might get you to just peel off that outer skin. We can cry together. <laughs> so, how has dinner time really changed for you with things like this? What would you serve back then to what you're cooking now? Do well, I want to ask that question? I know, exactly. <laughs> um, look, I had a probably had a repertoire of about five meals that I used and went back to every week. Sounds like my old man. Yeah. <laughs> you get a bit fed up with yeah. it. And so, um, yeah, I started doing these and um, my ability to cook a, a much bigger range of things is what kind of kept me doing it. Do you think you've become a better cook? Massively better yeah. cook, yeah. Because you seem pretty confident, like you know exactly what you know, the ingredients are, which I think is a, the first step. Well, look, I'm glad it's coming across that way. Um, <laughs> all the spuds and onions together. I'm going to zest the lemon. You do that. I'll go garlic town. That would be great. All right, and then I'll chop up the chorizo. I don't want to be that chef guy, but I'm going to show you something because you've just gone the most slight <laughs> bit too far on the lemon. So if you turn it around, swap hands, you can actually pull this across the lemon and oh. actually see how far you've gone down. So you're never going like into that white bitter pith part. Wow, and then these yeah, edges, yeah. it's actually curved so it catches all of it in the middle. And then you can literally just get it straight in there. Oh, Wanna have a crack? Oh, we'll try. <laughs> <laughs> it will feel so weird to start <laughs> so with, like but it will get easier and easier and easier and easier until you can do it with your eyes shut. Like, why did you start doing HelloFresh? Well, you know, I'm really quite time poor like most people. Um, I work in the city, it's a yeah. long commute, um, so it's really handy to have everything ready to go when I get home. Spuds in the oven? Yep, so we're doing. let's get them in. And a bit of a chorizo crumb action. What do we need? Chorizo, parsley. Yep, and, and panko breadcrumbs. And panko, yeah. That's for you. Thank you. That's for you. Perfect. So I can kind of really... Oh, hello. Uh, Didn't know you were there. Sorry. I can totally relate to the time poor thing. I mean. Being a chef, yeah, sometimes we do 12, 14, 16 hour days. So by the time you get home, there's not much time left in the day to actually do some cooking. Yeah, it's also about the convenience of it because, you know, the one really good thing for me that's been out of all this is that um, I've been able to ring on the road, ring my yeah. daughter and say, look, yeah. you know, can you get it underway? Um, and she can get the bag out. And the ingredients are already there. That's the thing with me because I remember, you know, when I get home early from school and my mum was still at work, I'd have to ring her and go, Mum, I'm thinking yeah. about doing this. Can you just get like some soy sauce, some of this, some of that? And then I couldn't stop until she got home. Yeah. So what do we got now? Asparagus and broccoli. Greens from Tracy. I'm going to check on our spuds too, because, hello, spuds are done. Do you reckon you eat more veggies now because you know what to do with them? Yeah, I do. I, we do. We definitely do. Yeah? All right. This one can be yours. Go hard with the cheese then if it's Lots mine. Lots of cheese. <laughs> I reckon that looks really, really good. You nailed it. It does look good. I'm pretty it. impressed with it actually. I'm pretty happy. 
This one's mine, yeah? Yep, that one's yours, Tracy. I'm gonna grab a chair. Dinner, Bella. I'm not joking, this is the first time someone's cooked me a meal <laughs> in a long, long time, so. <sighs> well, I hope you enjoy it. I will. Get that fork in the mouth. <laughs> this is the first episode of it. <laughs> you weren't meant to laugh then. This is the first episode of Eat Australia when I've actually been, been fed by someone. Thank you. You're welcome. I really like the goat's cheese. Sorry, I'm actually saying I really like the goat's cheese. 